I live out in a camper on a ranch that I work at in Northern California, and I have seen the dog man multiple times. I've been there 11 years, and I can tell you some things. But if I told the owner of the ranch what I saw, they'd probably have me leave. They don't want to hear it. They don't want to know about it. One night, I was babysitting my granddaughter four years ago, and I had got back to the ranch about midnight. I got out, swung open the 13-foot gate, pulled through, and got out to shut it again. And then I got back into my car. As I began to drive over to my trailer, I looked over at the veggie garden the gate is right next to. And there was this freaking seven-foot-tall werewolf standing in the garden. Its head flopped forward and down, big long snout resting on its upper chest. Its shoulders rolled forward, and its arms hung limply at its sides. It was standing on two back legs. It had dark fur with spiky long stiff hair like a mohawk standing up and out from the back of its head all the way down past its neck and shoulders. That hair was about seven to eight inches long and it was all standing up and it all looked spiky. The whole body made Mr. Universe look like a twerp. The waist was narrow. Arms, shoulders, thighs, and the back of the neck and the back of the shoulders were all bulging with a mass of muscle. With the head lolled forward, it looked like it had a huge mass of muscle there too, like a big hump. That was from the back of its head down past its shoulders. I almost had a freaking heart attack. This being, whatever it was, seemed to be in a deep trance, like someone was controlling it. I can't tell you how terrified I was. There's just no words possible. I was only barely rolling, riding my brakes, and staring at this being for maybe 30 seconds, about 12 feet away from me. And suddenly I thought, what the hell am I doing? I gotta get to my camper. I have to get out of here. I jammed on the gas and hauled ass about 50 feet away from the barn, where my camper was behind, and I practically fell down trying to jump out of my car and get to the camper so I could get inside. I had my three small dogs with me, because they go everywhere with me, so I had to get them out of the car and into safety too. I was so terrified I could hardly breathe or physically function. So I got inside. I rushed around closing curtains, checking locked windows, and then I sat on my bed, feeling relief. I'd made it. I was inside. Then I thought, wait, what the hell am I feeling such relief for? That thing was still standing over there, 50 feet away from my camper. And then I was consumed by renewed fear. And I mean absolute terror. I knew when whoever was controlling that creature decided to release it from the trance, it was still just 50 feet away. I realized that something was controlling these creatures that they drop off on our planet. They skinwalk in them, remotely. Like some sort of advanced psychic control where whoever's doing it can see through this creature's eyes, smell and feel through the body senses, even taste anything in the mouth. Almost like virtual reality, but a remote experience. Stuff beyond our imagination. I sat up most of the night, waiting to die. Because I knew if that creature wanted to, it could pluck my RV door off and fling it over its shoulder like a corn chip. I thought to myself that anything the creatures do when they're dropped off is remotely controlled through psychic means, which means we can't assume anything of normal behavior patterns associated with what we see before us. Because the intention of the beings is really someone else's intentions. So the intelligence and behavior is someone else. A lot of shit has happened here. And to keep my job, I've never told anybody. I can't tell you where I live, I can't tell you where I work, but this is some kind of takeover of our planet. They can do this stuff using any type of creature, including humans. Do you realize what that means? It means we're screwed. Look at the black eyed kids and the men in black for instance. I believe someone dropped the werewolf type beings off several different nights. I really think someone was trying to kill me using the creature. 
remote control through psychic ability. But for whatever reason, it kept not working and they dropped them off the next night and the next and the next. Six nights in a row to be exact. The night after my first encounter, I saw that they dropped off the dogman again, right behind my RV. I sat there terrified once again, listening to an enormously loud struggle going on, where the dogman was jumping, flopping, falling, getting up, and then repeating it all over again. The whole time it was growling and roaring like you wouldn't believe. It was like it was a fish out of water, all happening in one area, maybe 15 feet behind my RV. The thumping was shaking the ground. It was so heavy, it came up through the tires of my RV and onto the bed that I was sitting on. It felt and sounded like a giant was tossing around a werewolf and throwing it up into the air, then slamming it onto the ground over and over and over. But there was no giant. In fact, there wasn't anything doing it to that poor creature. I believe it was the being fighting against what they were trying to control it to do. That being did not want to do what they were trying to use it for. That's for sure. It was loud, and it lasted at least 30 minutes. Again, all just 15 feet behind my RV. I thought I was going to die. Again. One of the six nights, I had to babysit again. I came home after midnight. I couldn't tell my daughter, Hey, sorry, I can't babysit for you anymore, because aliens, or something maybe even older than that, are dropping off werewolves at the ranch and trying to kill me. So, I really don't want to be out at night. I don't think she would believe that. So I had to keep going. I went through all this activity. I was terrified every single night. I always felt it would be the night that I died a grisly death. But I went anyway. Because this was my life. And I still have to live it. So I came home another night after midnight got through the back ranch gate, fast as hell, started driving to my RV, glanced to the right of me over the huge pond they have right there in the woods, and only about 30 feet from me was another one. The dogman was on two legs. It was on a walking trail on the back side of the pond, just facing me and staring at me, not moving. Intense yellow eyes looked back at me. They weren't glowing. They just looked like a neon yellow. I was like, holy shit, here we go again. And I zoomed the 40 feet over to my RV and went in, locked up, and again I was afraid to sleep. But I never heard or experienced anything else that night. I always go out to the next morning and look for footprints after a night where they drop the creatures off. I wanted to see footprints, and I did, several times. Huge ones. Scary as hell ones. But I erased them. I didn't want the ranch owners to decide that I shouldn't live back there if all this crazy shit is happening. What if they associated this crap with me and my being here? Which, my being here really has nothing to do with it. I think it's the ranch. It has a huge pond and woods and livestock. Anyway... I lay low. I'm careful. I'm in before dark, unless I absolutely have to be outside. I say nothing to anyone here, ever. And I never will. Do you think it's possible, too, that these creatures are being dropped off by some other creature that we don't know their existence?